We first met at church back our sophomore year in high school. Uh, just all of a sudden, this really cute blonde came in one day and just immediately caught my eye. At church, at youth group, some Wednesday night and um, playing kickball outside. Never would have thought now, nine years later, that's who I'd be married. I, I, think, I think one of the first dates we had was we went to Nash's Trace and yep. walked up on the bridge. The bridge. Trying to impress be, me with the views, right? I thought it would be romantic. <laughs> Why not? And I showed up in athletic clothes thinking we were going on a hike. And he showed up in nice khaki shorts and a nice button down yeah. and nice shoes and <laughs> trying to, you know, pull out all the stops. I think what I like about Kay the most is just how caring she is and how, you know, Alone, she's the same as just with everybody else. She's just happy. She's always willing to help people. I love how, you know, she's a nurse with babies and it's just exciting for her. When in college, we would go to Dollywood all the time in Knoxville and that was like our thing. And I feel like it still is just, if we had a weekend free, we would just spend the weekend up there or spend the day up there and just go have fun. It was a good way just to rewind from school and just relax. And, Enjoy ourselves. Because we both love roller coasters yeah. and we're both adrenaline junkies and just spending the day like getting away from school and homework and classes, just being able to grow up there. And um, at Dollywood, they have the pumpkin festival where they have hundreds and hundreds of pumpkins like all throughout the um, through the park. And Nick knew that if I was having a rough week, He'd be like, let's go to Dollywood this yeah. weekend and <laughs> let's go see the pumpkins just to make me feel better. And um, that would usually do it. And we would go get that wonderful cinnamon bread oh, yeah. up there. And um, we would eat that in the car ride home <laughs> after a fun day. Where we've dated since high school, we've been on um, many mission trips together and that was always fun. Um, going on those and seeing each other out of you know our element because in high school we would see each other you know after school or we'd go out to dinner or movies um, just the basic you know date ideas in high school and so going and serving um, the Lord with our church was always awesome and one of the other mission trips we would take was we went to Flint Michigan and that was kind of the polar opposite of going to the beach and so <clears throat> being from the beach, or going to the beach, going to Flint, Michigan, and seeing each other in that totally different element was just something really funny. Going in, having to be back at the church by 4.30 because okay. it was too dangerous. It was a lot of fun. Though. Nick is very protective and still is of me. And he would get mad at me when I would be standing on a ladder with a nail gun. He would go up to oh, me goodness. and be like, Give me the nail gun, Katie, give Can't me. Can't be trusted. No, still not trusted. <laughs> so I think when I first knew for sure that I, I wanted to marry Katie was, um, we had dated through high school and into college, but kind of like Katie said, slight breakup in, bet in between there. But I think during that time was the most important for me to realize that I had made such a big mistake and that I wanted to get back with her and had to do everything I could. I. I remember distinctly, we were about to go to church camp. It was our senior year. And I just started sending her random texts. I didn't really talk to her any, but I just had to feel it out, see how she would feel about it. And I did that for maybe a, a couple of weeks before church camp and told her I really wanted to talk to her at some point. And I think she probably knew what was coming. But I was like, why is he texting me? I haven't talked to him in months. <laughs> but yeah. So that happened and it was just such a relief off my shoulders because I knew if she would have said yes, it would have for sure we were going to get married. Not a doubt in my mind. And I said yes to a date. <laughs> and he spent every moment since then proving to me how much he loves me. And um, that summer he pulled out all the stops, all the nice dates, all the nice dinners. And there was this one time I was so sick. I could not even stand up straight. I just was so nauseous and being up at college by yourself and it was a weekend that, you know, 
my friends had gone home, but as soon as Nick knew that I was sick, he doted on me. He doted on me the entire weekend. He brought me um, Gatorade and he brought me soup and he brought me, I think one time I told him I wanted some chicken nuggets from McDonald's because that was the only thing that sounded good. He brought me some chicken nuggets and um, Diet Dr. Pepper is my absolute favorite drink and he knew that to bring me that and that would make so many things better. And he just sat on the couch with me and we watched TV. He let me watch all my favorite TV shows, no sports <laughs> that day. And, um, and there was a huge football game on that day that I knew he wanted to watch. But just the fact that you took awesome care of me and you're not good around sick people, but you sucked it up and you took care of me. So I knew I wanted someone like that to take care of me the rest of my life. Nick proposed to me January 25th, a day I will never forget. Um, he took me out to dinner and originally we talked about going out to Loveless and we were driving on the interstate and um, which is not how you get to Loveless from my parents' house which is where I was living. And I was like, Nick, where are we going? And he was just like, well, I think we're going to go eat at Margiano's, if that's okay, which is one of my absolute favorite restaurants, so of course it was okay. And we went to Margiano's, had a fabulous four-course meal, and, um, you know, but I kind of knew maybe something was happening. He was dressed, like, you know, top-notch. He, you know, did his hair, his beard, he was wearing um, his nice shoes. And we went, we ate, and then he was like, let's go downtown Franklin. You know, I really wanted to propose downtown Franklin because that's where we spent a lot of time, like in high school, we, you know, a lot of our dates were going out to eat, and going walking around downtown Franklin, walking around the square. So it really meant a lot to both of us, even though it was absolutely freezing cold. But she was a trooper, she, she made it special and she went with me and we just walked around and... Just got down on one knee, told me how much he loved me and I didn't even let him finish his speech that he had prepared and um, I didn't even realize it until the end and Nick is like, what's your answer? What's your answer? Because when he asked me, I just screamed, you know, just, a joy. Ah! <laughs> Yes. But I was like, so that's yes, right? Yeah, I didn't even know. And I was so stunned by my beautiful ring that he picked out um, all by himself. He didn't ask for anybody's help and um, he did a fabulous job. Get compliments on it daily. Wedding planning has actually been going really smooth. We haven't had any big hiccups, especially with COVID. Yeah. Um, we're counting down the days. We both have a countdown app on our phone that we check to keep up with how many days we have left. Um, and we're just so ready to get married. Yeah, uh, can't get here soon enough. Yes. It's driving us nuts. <laughs> Krispy Kreme donuts, where to begin? It is, I mean, it's. Anything was bad to happen to me and Katie, I think I would just marry a Krispy Kreme donut. I mean, they're so soft when they're fresh. And when the hot sign's on, you just gotta pull in. And you just, the, you can get, there's many options. Many, it's chocolate, cream filled, but the original glaze is where it's at. Well, Nick would want to marry a donut if I was not around. I would want to marry probably Ryan Reynolds. He is. My celebrity crush always has been for a very long time. And, um, but, you know, you have fun with a donut. So if not Ryan Reynolds, my second option would have to be Rip off of Yellowstone. We, it, we will be out in public and people will come up to Nick and say that Nick looks exactly like Rip off of Yellowstone. And for those who don't know who that is, Rip is a tough guy, he's a cowboy, and he always wears a black cowboy hat, a black jacket, and actually at uh, one of our fr best friend's weddings that just happened, um, someone came up to Nick and said, you know you look just like Rip? 
And Nick was like, I got called rip again. And it's happened multiple times. So, you know, Ryan Reynolds are rip. It's fair. <laughs> Look at you, rip. <laughs> oh, my goodness.